Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. Should you quit your job? That is what we're going to talk about today. This is Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl. So many people are quitting their jobs these days, and you might be considering yourself quitting your job. So I'm going to walk you through some steps to figure out if you should, when you should. And I know that this is a really big decision to quit your job. I remember when I made that decision myself, I quit my day job after eight years of consulting. I quit that job uh, six weeks after my daughter was born. She was six six weeks old. And I just could not imagine going back to that day job when I had this little baby. So that is when I quit. I quit when I knew that I had customers, I had clients, I had income that I knew was going to come in. I had a virtual assistant who was helping me at that time. I had savings. I had financial projections. So first I want to cover like some ground rules that you want to think about. And these were, these were some of the things I was thinking about too, when I was like weighing my pros and cons, should I quit? Should I not quit? Because now I had a family, like now I had a little baby that I had to provide for. And it was like very nerve wracking and very scary when you start building your family and you start realizing it's not just you providing food for yourself and shelter for yourself, right? Like you're actually providing for another human being. So this was a very scary decision for me. It was one that I thought about for many, many years that it was my goal to quit, but I just wanted to make sure that the time was right. And so here's some things I learned. Uh, The first thing that I learned was that you have to do absolutely everything that you can do on the side of your day job. I know you might hate your job. You might have a terrible boss client. It's, uh, you know, they work you crazy hours. They call you on weekends, but we want to make sure that we do absolutely everything that we can before we quit. So we want to use our early mornings. We want to use our evenings. We want to use our weekends. The longer runway that you have when it comes to quitting, the easier it's going to be to make that career change, to launch your dream business. So we want to extend that runway as long as we can and work on a side hustle, work as, work it as a side hustle, as long as humanly possible before you quit that job. So do absolutely everything you possibly can on the side before you quit. Uh, The second thing you want to ask around to, and consult with other entrepreneurs and your family. Like if you're considering growing a business, you want to get in a community of other entrepreneurs that can lead you and guide you and answer your questions. Um, you want to discuss with your family as well, or, um, discuss with your family when they, when they are going to be, you know, positive and, and they're going to actually provide you with helpful feedback. Um, don't make the decision to quit alone. Like you want, to get support. You want to get advice because other people can see things differently than you too. And they might have some good questions that you might not have thought about. So we want to listen to wise advice. Don't listen to people who don't understand you, your business, what you want to do. Sometimes negative people can kind of get to you when you're making these really big decisions. So just be careful who you let in um, to your mind when you're making these decisions, but you do want to consult with some trusted entrepreneurs, some trusted family members. Um, The third is just don't let the fear of unknown hold you back. Like I know it can be scary to not know how you're going to get insurance and benefits and retirement, but it's not a reason to not go after your dreams. We still have to go after our dreams and our goals and we can figure things out. Like we can Google things, we can email people for help and we can go to the experts who know how to do retirement and insurance and benefits and and financial plans and all that stuff. Like everything that you're, the negative thoughts that you're saying, I can't quit because of blank, write all those things down and start to, to Google some answers, start to reach out to people who know how to solve those answers, but we just don't want the fear of unknown to hold us back. Um, And the fourth thing is I always recommend asking yourself when you're considering, should I quit my job? 
is it worth it to go all in? Like, what is the worst that can happen if you go after your dream? And what is the absolute best that can happen after you go after your dream? And then is it worth it to go in? Because a lot of the times it is totally worth it. It is not worth being stuck and unhappy and feeling stressed and frustrated. And like, you want to bang your head against the wall and you come home from work crying. Like none of that is worth it. So usually it really is worth it to go after your dreams and to go all in and to make a plan to quit that job. So some questions that you want to ask yourself when it comes to making this decision, these are yes or no questions. Um, yes or no. Do you have a budget? We want to make sure this is a yes. We want to make sure you know where you're at right now. You know, the income coming in, you know, the expenses going out, you've looked at what you're bringing in at your job right now. And you've looked at what your current monthly expenses are. And you, you know, if there's any extra expenses that are going to be coming as well, if you do quit. So we just want to make sure that we know what that monthly cash flow is, is going to be what that income is that you need to make in your business. And then we need to know what your current expenses are right now. Maybe some of those will be changing if you do quit your job, but we just really want to take inventory of where we are. So yes, you should have a budget. The second thing um, is, do you know what your business it needs to make in order for you to quit your day job? So when I made that decision to quit, I knew what I needed to make. I had done the calculations. I had added in, you know, benefits and and insurance and I had added in retirement and, you know, all the, all the things that I wasn't paying for before that I was now going to be in charge of as a business owner. And I added in all those things. So we need to figure out like, what, what do you need to make? What is that goal amount? write it down on a post-it, put it on your wall. Like that is, that is our goal. We're going to look at that every single day and make a plan to get your business to that goal so that you know that you can quit that day job or you have a plan to make that so that you can quit that day job. Um, so that's a yes or no question. Do you know what you need to make in order to quit your day job? and have that full-time income. Um, Yes or no, do you have a three to six month savings? This is one that I had, and I was so glad that I had this when I quit my day job because it took a little while um, for things things to all work out and even out with a new baby and all that stuff. So do you have a three to six month savings? We want to make sure that we have savings that we can rely on. You may even want more of a savings. Like when my husband ended up um, three months later after I quit, he quit his job three months later and, and joined me at Classy Corgal to help me run off operations. When he quit too, we knew we needed even more savings, right? So depending on your situation, you might even want to increase the savings that you have. So yes or no, do you have a three to six month savings? Yes or no. Are you currently bringing in income from your side hustle, from, from what you're doing? We want to make sure that you know the problem that you're solving. We want to make sure that there's a market need and that things are working. So when I quit my job, I had clients, I had that recurring revenue that was coming in. It wasn't as much as I needed. It needed to grow even more. And it, eventually did because I was able to use them all my time to grow this thing. Um, but we, we want to make sure that we're starting and we've evaluated our idea and it works. We're solving a problem and you've started to generate an income. And also, yes or no, do you have work expenses that you can cut right now to invest into your business? Any, any sort of expenses. It doesn't have to be work expenses. This is really important because you want to be able to invest back into your business. So when I first started, because I had my day job, I was able to reinvest the income that I was making in my business and hire a virtual assistant who helped me grow my business because I didn't have to do everything in the business. So we want to make sure that we do leave some extra funding where we can start to to put that back into the business. Um, so because of that, we got to, we got to cut things. We just do because it's our dreams are important and we want to free up that cash flow so that we can reinvest. So we don't have to stress about money. And also because it's like so much easier to make a sale when you're not worried and stressed because people can tell when you need money and you're stressed about money and we don't want to be like that. So if you answered yes to these questions, you can think about quitting. I'm not going to tell you yes or no, that is your decision. But if you answered yes to all of these questions, you are well on your way to quitting your day job. So I'm excited for you. Remember to take care of your money and it will take care of you. Get on that budget, get out of debt, 
We don't like debt around here. We like to cash flow our business startups. The more you track of your money as well, the more you're going to receive, the more it's going to grow. Um, so just don't ignore your current financial situation and it's going to directly impact your career in the future. So I'm super excited for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram and I look forward to seeing you over there. Bye. Hey there. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Classy Career Goal podcast. If you want to dive in deeper with me, get more free training and advice to help you find a job or business you love that supports the life that you really want, I'd love to invite you to check out more of my free blog posts, more free videos, and to give you the opportunity to download my free 90-day planning workbook. The best place to get started is to go to www.classycareergirl.com forward slash slash free stuff. And that will guide you to the best place to start. So I look forward to helping you and supporting you further in reaching your goals and dreams. I will see you soon.